Hi, so welcome to my YouTube channel where I discuss and review critical communication solutions, products and services. Okay, it has been some time ago since I have produced my last product review video and I'm really sorry for that. Due to some unforeseen circumstances in my private life, I was not able to focus on the business for the full 100%. However, as things seem to settle a little bit and as business is slowing anyway right now, and because of the holiday season, I thought it would now be the right time to produce the next product review. Um, another reason to do so is that Kalta sent me their latest critical communications devices for business critical communications, the DH500 and the DH590 DMR radios. And there is more. So let me first show you something that caught my eye when browsing the Kalta website earlier. On the 18th of May, Kalta launched their online virtual reality showroom. This online exhibition is visible for everyone that visits the website and can be found on going to www.kalta.com slash en from English slash showroom. This online showroom is something I've not seen before and according to Kalta, it is the world's first launched 720 degree VR showroom in the PMR industry. So they're really proud of that. So how does this all work, you might want to know. Well, before you're entering the showroom, you first have to complete a few details, such as your company name and contact email and so on and so on. From there, you can enter the showroom where you first are welcomed by the lady in the reception area. And once you click to enter the showroom area, you can find a small navigation pane at the right top corner of your screen. That navigation screen shows you immediately what you'll be able to see. And there are some buttons situated to change the settings and to let the application know that you're really wearing virtual reality glasses or a headset. Once you're in the demo room, you will be able to learn more about Kalta's background, the culture from where you directly can visit the different areas in the demo room. Each radio that the company produces is displayed, including the two new DMR radios that I'm going to review shortly. And when taking a further look, you can get familiar with the business critical and mission critical references, as well as the products based on the different technologies such as LTE, DMR, PDT, POC, and so on. Okay, but also vertical markets such as utilities, public safety, transportation, and municipalities. And in addition to all of that, you will find more information on the dispatch solutions that are offered by the company. It, it's really a great way to get to know what Kalta is offering. I must admit that once you get the hang of it, the VR showroom is easy to navigate, although I advise everybody that visits the showroom to check if their internet connection is stable enough, as the online application requires a lot of bandwidth. So in short, I think that this VR showroom, especially visited when using a VR headset, is a great way to inform and to demonstrate products and solutions today. And it has been designed in a user-friendly way. So it's easy to navigate and the voiceover that comes with the app sounds, well, I would say European, actually English. As mentioned in the introduction, in this video, I will focus on two of the latest, not yet officially introduced DMR radios from Kalta the DH500 and the DH590. One is the non-keypad radio and one is a radio with keypad and screen. By the way, both devices can also be seen in the new online VR showroom that I just talked about. By the way, I think I already said that. So before reviewing these two devices, let's do a quick unboxing first and that's gonna be done somewhere down there. So I'm going there in the next room and uh, see you there for the unboxing, right? All right, and we're in demo room. So both devices are delivered in a cardboard brown box with text Kalta in silver. And when you're opening the box, you first see that on top of all, there is a quick starting guide included. Let me open the one that is the 590 first. So this is the 500, this is the 590, and this is the starting guide that I talked to you about. This guide includes a get to know your radio section, FCC statement, text about compliance, a third party application notice, etc, etc. That is not that much important. On top, there is the radio in a nice protection sleeve. As you can see over here, let's peel off the security seal over there. Let's put this aside. Then just below the radio, there is a section with all of the necessities of this radio. So, a cradle for the charger, 
the battery that belongs to the radio, a belt clip, and of course, cannot be missed, there is a little stubby antenna. Okay, let's quickly fix this onto this radio and see how easy it is to attach everything to this radio. And I think I installed this radio in about 15 seconds. That's all. Basically, unboxing is exactly the same with the DM500, so I'm not going to show you that, of course. Actually, this was the first time for me to attach all of the necessities to the radio, and it felt uh, intuitive. Everything is attached right now and connected, so it's time to use both radios in DMO mode. But first, I want to know more about the settings and the menu structure of the DH590 radio. Let's take a look. So, in short, the DH500, that this device is a basic version of the DH5 series and it's a radio to better serve clients from verticals like the private security industry, warehouse and or city management, property management, hotel industry, agriculture, healthcare, retail, etc, etc. Straight on, no screen, no keypad, just push and talk. If we compare this device to his brother, the DH590, this device has a screen and a keypad. And basically everything is the same. So in other words, the inside of these radios are almost identical as they are based on the same platform, the same software platform. So when taking a closer look at the information that was given to me by Kalta, both radios offer five very important features. So both offer IP67 protection. And Kalta compares these radios with the Hytera PD4 and PD5 series and the Motorola Solutions 1400 series. Okay, the second one is a 2500 milliampere large capacity battery. This enables a user to use the radio during a long shift, some 20 hours at the duty of cycle of 5590. This means that a new fully charged battery will generally last a number of hours if you transmit 5% of the time your speaker is active, you're receiving 5% of the time, and your radio sits idle, no TX and no RX, 90% of the time. The third feature is the lone worker feature and emergency alarm feature of this radio. Very important to Kalta and very important to those who use PMR radios. Number four, according to Kalta, is the innovative design of the belt clip. It's called an off belt clip tight instead of a screw type. And you have seen how fast it takes me to attach the belt clip to the radio. And then, and I think that is most important for both radio, that's the audio performance. That enables the user to communicate in noisy environments. Now I'm going to, to test that. And that's all according to Kalta. However, to me, the most important features of these two radios are the IP rating, the ruggedness, and even more important, the audio performance. And when Kalta wants to compare these two radios with the PD4 and 5 series of Itera, the Motorola 1400 radios, they must be able to produce good audio. And for the rest, both devices feel good in the hand. They have a grippy feeling. The emergency button is placed on the right place and the clickiness of the PTT button, as well as the position of the keyboard buttons are just good. Are there any other points? No, I don't think so. I think this is straightforward radio. It's very rugged, it's robust, and uh, it's easy to use. So I'm going outside. I'm taking the DH 
500 with me, I'm going to communicate with the DH590 that is on the table right over here. And the reason for that is I want to test the sound quality of both radios. So let's do test number one first. Okay, so let's check this out. Let's see if the quality of sound comes through to the DH590. I'm here with a busy road. Uh, let's check it out. Catch on over here outside. Catch on outside testing. The DH500 to the DH590 from Kalta testing. Well, it's not really windy, but it's, it's, there's some wind, there's some traffic, although it's not really rush hour. Test again, test again, catch on both. Let's try the other way around. This is catch on for the DH500, calling with the DH590 of Kota, the latest radio of Kota DMR. Okay, this should be enough. So, it's time to go to the office and check out the results. So, that was the DH590 with uh, this device over here. So let's put them aside for a moment. Um, so the conclusion. Well, before I let you know the conclusion and the results of this quick loudspeaker test, I need to tell you that I'm pleasantly surprised about the focus of Kalta on the development and promotion of two-way radio solutions. No matter if this is focused on DMR, POC or any other technologies. And with the introduction of these two new radios, as well as the introduction of the 720 degree virtual reality showroom, the increased number of press publications, white papers and other interesting content, the company shows its dedication to the end users in the business critical and mission critical communications industry. I won't be surprised if Kalta is aiming to become, if not already, the second largest PMR brand from China after Hytera. And about the loudspeaker tests, you might want to know, well, I heard some wind noise when talking with the DH500. Uh, the sound quality was okay, however, I, when I talked with the DH590, the sound quality ended up much better. For this short test, I used both radios straight out of the box without me changing the settings. The only thing that I did was that, that I changed the setting of the language from Chinese to English language. All right. so. All in all, I hope that I have been able to give you a short update on the latest from Kalta and I hope you like this video. If you wish to learn more about Kalta and the latest POC radios for example, the E600 and the E690, please check out this video that I produced a few months back. For now, thank you very much for watching, I will see you in the next video.